How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Voodoo 15 here. And I had a question in the, uh, in the forums about uh, folks that want to do some practice in the offline. I'm currently in the offline on a different map. I don't have any drones falling around. I don't know. Maybe I have to set that up myself. But anyway, so a uh, guy was asking, hey, you know, could you show people how to set up the ammo multiplier so that you can have like a bunch of ammo, like a whole bunch of ammo, and uh, a bunch of fuel? So that you can just fly and fly and fly and fly and fly. You don't have to worry about landing every like 10 or 15 minutes when you get tired of shooting. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through it right quick. And it's it's really easy to do. Uh, we're going to go to options after you've pulled your clipboard up. Um, preferences. Uh, actually, arena setup. My bad. Environment. And then arena settings. Uh, we have general here. So we're going to scroll through general here. and uh, And see what's going on here. All right, here's uh, fuel burn rate multiplier. This is uh, what you're going to want to find. It's under the general tab. You just scroll down so you see fuel burn rate multiplier. And we're going to want to change that. And it'll tell you uh, minimum value is 001, max value is 10, uh, current value is 2. So the higher you go, the quicker it burns. The lower you go, the, the slower it burns. So we're going to delete that. We're going to go 001. And we're going to click on OK is set to 1 instead of uh, 2. So now you burn your fuel at the uh, correct times. Uh, and we're going to go to weapons. Maybe. It was working. Oh, there we go. Um, and we're going to want to go plain gun ammo multiplier and double click on that or you can uh, Let's see, minimum value is 0, maximum value is 10, so we're going to go 10, which is opposite, so now I'm going to multiply my ammunition. And uh, we'll save it, close, and go back, and back. Now you see i got 1700, so let's end the sortie and, and go right back into it again. You can see now that I have 17,000 rounds of ammo. 17,000. Um, used to, you could get it to be infinite, but I mean, 17,000 is a lot of fucking bullets anyway. So, uh, let's take a look, see here. And I got an hour of light time. Uh, go ahead and get rid of my drop tank. Don't need that. So, I have 15 minutes. So, I have real, I have actual fuel times on, and I got 17,000 rounds of ammo. We're gonna lift off here in the P47 D11. And, um, uh, just shoot some shit on the airfield, I suppose. <laughs> this is sick. 17,000 rounds of ammo. Oh no! I'm gonna crash! Oh! oh okay, I did crash. <laughs> that was close. I just want to see if I could do it. Alright, so that's an easy thing to do uh, to set it. Uh, with the fuel burn rate, the higher the number is, uh, the faster the fuel burns, and with the ammo, the higher the number is, the more ammo you get. So it's it's backwards for some reason, but uh, that's how to do it. That's how to set it up, and uh, so then you can get your drones in the offline setup. And uh, let me let me change arenas right quick, and uh, and what I'll do is. is set it up so that uh, you get the drones. And I'll show you how to change your drones out so that you can uh, you can set up different airplanes and learn where to hit them. Especially if you're flying something like the KI-43 has got little guns and you want to practice shooting at weak points then uh, then you're going to want to obviously practice shooting those aircraft so that you can uh, get used to hitting them in those weak points, wing roots, engines, business like that. If you're curious why I always land, instead of, you know, I could bail out or I could just close it out, I always land because 
landing is always good practice. The more that you land, the more that you shoot, the more that you fly, the more you'll learn. So, always land. It's always good to land. And you get used to it. And then if you get used to it and you suddenly have to land on a short runway, you've done enough times just dinking around, you'll be comfortable with it. I'll be right back with y'all in a new arena. And uh, we'll get this. Okay, up. so I'm back. I uh, changed uh, arenas, and apparently they've defaulted it to where it's ground guns are the the uh, drones. So uh, uh, it would have worked on that arena, but I was too dumb to, to check it first. So so now we're going to go options again. We're going to go arena setup, and we're going to go right here where it says offline drones, which some of you probably saw when I was clicking on the other. And we're like, no, Buddha, no, Buddha kick. Duh. Okay, never mind. You're dumb. So here we are. We're going to go to offline drones, and you see gunshipper field. So what I'm going to do is HG 111s. I want to I wanna see one of those. Um, and let's see. Um, One D and I sixteen and yeah, those. An RV8. Okay, so we've set them up, and now it's time to to go and uh, let's let's go back to arena setup environment. No. Yes, arena settings. And let's check, make sure that our uh, see our fuel burn rate's gone back to two, so we need to change that back to uh, delete that. So those are one, and then uh, we need to go in to weapons. and uh, change the ammo multiplier to 10. I click OK. And now we can go back, go to the hangar, and find an airplane to fly. I'm playing the Typhoon at Coon's Age. Someone was asking me about a Typhoon asking for some Typhoon F8. That's what we're after. Let's find us a good Typhoon skin. I'm sure if this is one I have picked, but oh goodness, there's... Grebo's got skins in here. It's beautiful. That's a cool one. I like it, the face on it. Let's see what a 417. Damn! Those are some good looking ones too. Pulverizer 4. That first one of Chaco's, that thing looks fucking awesome. I had a, I had a model of a Tempest when I was younger. Dad made it. So, that's pretty damn cool. I do like that one, but the panel lines on Chaco's are outstanding. Look at that shit. Let's see how it looks from the inside. Uh, actually, I need 50%. Well, actually, we just need 25. Yeah, I'll go 50. Fuck it. Let's go. Roll, 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 roll. I got 2,800 rounds of cannon. Amazing! Mm, yeah, they look pretty good. I think Creepo's probably got a little bit better detail, but I like the darker colors. Goodness, it's been a age since I've flown this damn thing. Let's see what we'll do. Oh, <laughs> it sounds so nasty. Whoa, nice fucking excellent visibility to six o'clock. Actually, let's page up just a just a touch. Maybe too much. Page down. Maybe no, no, no. There we go. I have to. Oh god, dang it! Damn you! Alright. 
Yeah, someone was asking in one of the videos. I, I apologize. I don't. I don't ever know the names. I just answer the questions. I'm terrible with names. Good with faces. Terrible with names. And uh, anyway, I'm sure if they'll spot it and be like, "Hey, that was me, you bastard," and uh, watch them off. No. Watch them off. Calibration's off. Let's see. Let's line up on this 111. Drop him with some sh sh span news. Faster down to about 260. So as you can see, I mean, I got 2,794 at 2,800 uh, rounds per set of two guns, so. Yeah, it twitches. Sticks pretty twitching. I always hate it when they do that. I don't know what my convergence is set to on this. Probably like 600. I was talking to somebody in another video about uh, uh, you know practicing passes and stuff like that, and how you should do it. And uh, what I told them was that you know get in here with the offline drones and uh, practice your angles and stuff. So we're gonna pull a a diving pass on this mossy. So I'm gonna try and keep him in the nose here where you can see him, or where I can see him, and then close on him at range. I don't have tracers on. I don't. I don't ever fly with tracers on. What I'm gonna try and do is an inverted shot on this guy, just as uh, well. I won't be able to get fully inverted, but I'll try it like this. What you're trying to do is just make it funky so that when you get presented with these weird shots, you can make them. Instead of just having stern shots all the time, the 6 o'clock shots, you, you gear yourself up for hitting a target at a funky angle. That's how I make some of my snapshots. If you'll notice in the last, or one of the last videos I posted, I, um, I hit a P-51 without being able to see him. It's a blind shot, but it really wasn't blind because I could still see a shadow, so I knew he's following the same track as before. And you can utilize shadows like that. Yeah, I knew it. You're barely, they're making just enough of a turn to be a pain in the ass. Sorry, high tech. Oh, look. Even, it's so narrow, I couldn't even hit him. See, I'm only down to 2200 cannon. Which is amazing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little climbing on the calibrate my joystick because it's acting like shit. Cowboy joystick. And we're gonna practice some high angle passes. Some of these targets in here. And you can do this. I mean, it gets boring after a while, but you know. Like anything, practice, practice, practice. That's all it is. And people are like, oh my god, how do you freaking do that? And it's like, yeah, well, if you pick up a Coke enough times, you can pick up a Coke anytime, for the most part, you know. Okay, should be enough of that. Now some rudder. So, 
just with anything that you do, whether it's, you know, anything. You know, writing your name, opening a Coke, um, a drawing, you know, it just, you just gotta do it a bunch of times, and eventually it starts to come together. If not, well, you know, sometimes things weren't meant to be. Typically, it's just, you've got some of the points correct, and you're just missing something, like uh, your hand and eye coordination's a bit off, or maybe your joystick's out of whack, like, I can't, can't make shots with this. Right now, my convergence is set way out there. It must be set out at 600, because my guns are barely impacting on these guys at, you know, whatever. It's probably set for ground attack. It's probably set way out there where I can make a burst at, like, 600, and then run off. Not, I haven't flown this airplane to attack airplanes and pfft, ever in a long time. Sure hits a spit, so I know he's passing underneath me. I know what angle he's gonna be at, so I'm gonna wait. About now he should be in a good position. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive. I'm gonna reduce throttle. I'm gonna roll and I'm looking at the top of the canopy. And so now I'm gonna pick a point where he's gonna be at. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of throttle to cancel out the torque off his big fucking saber engine. I'm gonna dive, 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 dive. I don't want to make my shots. So, let's say he didn't lose that wing. He's not quite down yet. So, I'm going to use what my energy to dive above him, or climb above him. Reduce throttle. Increase throttle to cancel out my torque. I'm going to dive on him like this. Goodness. That's surprising. I haven't flown a typhoon forever. She didn't like that at all. Interesting. Learn something every day. Alright, so we're gonna climb again and we'll attack another target. My convergence is set way out there. It's probably at 600, which is not where it needs to be at. I, I'd say about 400. People have asked me about convergence too, and if you hadn't seen some of the other videos where I may have mentioned it, um, I, some people say you need to set your guns like this. Some people say you've got to set them in close. Some people say far. It's based off of where you normally engage a target at. If you're engaging a target at 200 feet, you need to set your guns up for 200 feet. If you're engaging a target out at 600 feet, you need to set your guns for 600 feet. Alright, so we're going to hit the 111. It's a big fat target. We're going to make a crossing shot, just like he's doing something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to point my nose at the I-16. I'm going to keep my turn in because I'm actually attacking the 111. Now I'm going to do a little bit of rudder to keep him in sight. I him pretty good, but it was just in the wing. It didn't do much. Freaking puts nose down, dive, and close. I bet these are at 600. from up front. Give him a tail. Piss poor shot with this thing and my guns are so well.
just a little bit of time like this will set you up, you know, for success in the main arenas. So that you can successfully attack guys and make sure that your guns are hitting where you really think they are hitting. Sometimes when I really do want to know where them damn rounds are going, you know, the bullets that miss. You're just like, I couldn't miss miss about much, you know, because I was in the left wing, so... This is probably... For some reason, these little airplanes are most difficult to hit, to be honest with you. Anyhow, I hope that this video has helped you out, and uh, if you have any more suggestions or ideas, and I'll I'll put the guy that uh, I just have his forum name, so I'll put his name in here. The guy who suggested the video. And if you have any other ideas or suggestions, things you'd like to see for videos, fuck, please. Uh, Please let me know about them, and uh, I'll get them tossed together for you and put up. And uh, as always, good luck, and uh, yeah, good luck, because that's what you need in Ace's Eye, just luck, I'll be honest with you. That sounds fucking terrible, but you know what? Sorry, I just I just had to do it. Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys later. And